Okay, eight is a polynomial inequality. Uh, it's quadratic in form. So let's write this down. It's x squared uh, minus 7x. I'm going to subtract 8 from both sides, minus 8, and I'll be greater than 0. Factor it. I'm going to say 8 and 1, minus 8, plus 1. It does factor nicely. Number line goes down. What goes the number line? The numbers were, uh, the, I get the zeros, which is at minus 1 and at 8, and test it out. What's a good test point after 8? I don't know, 10. Plug it in, what do you get? Positive, positive. Overall, it's positive. Positive numbers are greater than 0, so I would shade that in. All right, over here, a good test point over here would be 0. Plug it in, what do you get? A positive times a negative, so it would be negative overall. I would not shade that in because negative numbers are not greater than 0. Over here, nice test point would be minus 2. Plug it in, you get a negative times a negative, which is a positive, and positive numbers are greater than 0, so I would shade that in. Intervals, minus infinity, up to minus 1, don't touch it. Union, 8, don't touch it, off to infinity. Little box on it. Um, and, you know, look at the keys, certainly. And we're hoping we're matching it up. And we are. This is good. Thank you.